Yo, what's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Min, a.k.a. Gem Knight Shyamalan. We're here with a light omnibus haul, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so three books in today's haul. I was going to wait for next week so we can kind of have a bigger haul, but I really wanted to go over this amazing Spider-Man omnibus, and uh, we'll quickly touch on the two other books. First up, we got Venom by Donny Cates, Trade Paperback, Volume 2, which collects issues 7 through 12. I am super stoked to read this. I'll probably read this after this video and get a recent read on deck. Donny Cates killing the uh, Venom run, totally uh, adding depth to the mythos and, and the character of Venom and the symbiotes. This was a $18 cover price, and... Um, yeah, man, we got it for, you know, significantly less on InStockTrades.com. All right, so here's what you get on the cover of the Donny Cates, Ryan Stegman, Iban, Coelho, Joshua, Kassara, The Abyss is what this is called. Uh, you get your typical trade paperback, white spine. Here's the back here, Venom No More. Uh-oh. Let's take a look, see at some of the artwork. Looking like Stegman work right there. Very animalistic take on Venom. Oversight. I uh, I only read the first trade paperback. I am not caught up on these issues. So I know we had Null, the Symbio deity. So it uh, looks like we got Richard Reed, the maker, going on. I'm interested to see what happens in this volume. And uh, we'll do a review when I'm done. Next up, we got Nailbiter, Volume 3, The Murder Edition from Image Comics. I was going to hold off on getting Nailbiter because I have the other two deluxe editions. I never read them. The um, the covers always kind of grossed me out, like nails being bit off. It's kind of gross. But uh, I did a, a previews video, and everybody was saying that I should get Volume 3. It's, it's the last volume. It completes the run. And that I would really like the uh, the series. So I got it. And I will definitely make an effort to uh, jump into Nailbiter. And give it a nice review. Especially now that the story's done. Uh, the artwork looks pretty good actually flipping through. Let's take a look. So the last volume of Nailbiter. It, it looks like it's a little bit thicker than the other volumes. This is volume 3. It collects... Nailbiter issues 21 through 30, and the Nailbiter Hack Slash Short Special. This has a $35 cover price. This might be the uh, DCBS variant. I don't know anything about Nailbiter. It reminds me of like Chu or The Walking Dead, which I haven't read Chu either, but they all just give me the same vibe. I, I'm guessing it's pretty graphic. From what I can tell, this whole town is going to hell. It's about why we created the serial killers. 29. I like that all black. So it looks pretty interesting, man. Um, I heard good things about it. People were telling me I definitely need to pick it up and finish off the run. So that's what I did, and that's what we're going to do. All right. The big boy of the hall, the reason you guys all clicked in to watch uh, we got another Spider-Man omnibus. This is the Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Amazing Spider-Man by J. Michael Straczynski. This collects the second half of Volume Two of Amazing Spider-Man. So after uh, issue 499 uh, of the original run, they decided to renumber, starting at number one, and it went on for I want to say it went on for yeah 58 issues. Uh, most notably out of that run, I would say, is the 9-11 issue with the all-black cover. This collects the second half of Volume 2. It's issues 30 through 58. And then it picks up where it left off uh, with 500 through 514. So let me backpedal. I don't think it stopped at 499. It stopped at 4-something. And then after 58 issues was issue 500. Anyway, that was the first time we got a Spider-Man renumbering. So... Um, J. Michael Straczynski, we have art by John Romita Jr., which is, can be kind of hit or miss, and Mike uh, Diodato Jr., and 
I don't know if I've read these stories or not. I'm, I've read a lot of Spider-Man stuff, uh, mostly Silver Age and 90s. Um, it does have a cool wraparound cover. I flipped through the artwork, and it wasn't like... I don't know. It didn't blow me away. It looks like uh, Diodato and uh, John Romita have very different styles. Looks very early 2000s, late 2000s, I guess. But uh, let's flip through it together, and we'll take a look. All right, so lastly, we have Amazing Spider-Man. Here's the dust jacket. They did an audible at the end, and they switched up the cover, which uh, was originally going to be the J. Scott Campbell. I believe it's Amazing Spider-Man 50 cover. Um, and I don't know why they changed that out at the last minute, but they did. And... I don't know, maybe it's because that's John a John Romita cover, and they didn't want to clickbait the cover with J. Scott Campbell, and he didn't really contribute to the book. I don't know. I just made that up, but it sounds plausible, right? All right. That's the dust jacket. As I teased before, you get a wraparound cover, which is a collage of Spider-Man fighting his rogues gallery. You got Venom, Kingpin, Morbius, Craven, Molten Man, Green Goblin. What is that thing called again? J. Jonah Jameson and that, um, The Living Brain. Shocker, Carnage, Electro, Rhino, Hobgoblin, Dr. Doom, Doc Ock. What was that? The Ringmaster, Scorpion, Juggernaut. Who was that? Um, Totem? Is that the Totem? I forget. More, more, Mobius? Something like that. Mobius? I don't know. Mobius? Chameleon? All right. What do we get in this book? This is what y'all came for. This is what the cover was going to be. They did the bait and switch. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I forget this guy's name. This guy, he has Spider-Man powers as well. I feel like he showed up in the Clone Saga stuff. I don't love the artwork, man. From what I flipped through and what I'm looking at now, it's not my favorite Spider-Man work, but I'm always glad to add a Spider-Man omnibus to the Gempire. I do uh, plan on reading this fairly quickly and getting a review out there for you guys. I know a lot of people are going to want to know if they should pick this up. And, um, I mean, why not? For, for half off cover? Come on, man. Doom getting arrested. The binding is good on this book, no issues. Back to the five hundreds. All right, guys, so that is a light omnibus haul for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like on the way out. Drop me a comment below. And make sure to subscribe to the channel because you're going to get daily content. You're going to get hauls, reviews, statues, trailer reactions, movie reviews, Comic-Con coverage, live shows. You're going to get something entertaining every time. And uh, you're going to enjoy yourself. Stay minty fresh. Peace.